is dead. If you cringe, you lose. All right, ready? Go. I already I'm lost. Thinking in my head <laughs> that we all need a mom. I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug. This woman just said that the country needs a hug. Ma'am, I need fucking health care. I don't need your I don't need a hug, okay? I mean, she's kind of projecting where she's like, we all need a mom, and it's like, Drew, most people had one of those growing up. Uh, I don't know about you. This is this is this is brain worms, like so Drew like she gets like really close with her guests. And like, but like Kamala, Kamala looks visibly uncomfortable here. Like I can feel it. Um, but Jesus Christ. First of all, like, do you ever, have you ever heard of anyone? Well, I guess people say daddy Trump, but like, is there any other candidate where they like, I don't want, I don't want to vote for a dad. Like I'm not, I'm not putting you no. in office. For you to be my dad, I'm more of you to run the country. Well, that's no part asked, of the propaganda. No one asked this. No one asked like for mommy vice president. No one's no one wants this. But well, that's this part is of the trade. Sorry, that's part of the propaganda they churn out because the way they need to portray like politicians. Like ideally in a perfect world, politicians would be representatives of the people. There wouldn't even be this whole like matriarchal or patriarchal figure sort of narrative going out because that's just a representative. They're just supposed to, they're like, they're just supposed to represent people. They're just the person we all said, like, this person is elected to carry out what the country needs. This whole like overarching like dominance vibe they have going on with politicians in the West, like first off, it's not fucking normal. This isn't this isn't a normal. This is not normal. Nothing about this is normal. This is not normal at all. No this one is gets not this. the relationship. This isn't the relationship you should have with your elected official. They're just they're just there to like like they work they're supposed to work for you. They're not supposed to be your fucking boss. And in the West, they've soup headed people so hard. Not, not your, they not have just your boss, your mommy. Who's asking for a mommy to be they president? They put your brain. They put in your your brain in a microwave. Like an adolescent popcorn. Yeah, they have infantilized people so hard that fucking like they they want people to basically have a parental figure that is going to just kind of take everything away. And you know, take the toys away, and 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 like run their fucking lives. That's what they want. This is what Drew Barrymore is talking about. And you know, obviously, with everybody else in Hollywood, aside of the two, three like weird Cheeto people, <laughs> the Cheeto people. I don't, <laughs> the che I'm just gonna call them Cheeto people. I'm gonna run with it. I don't give a fuck. I'll torch. I'll torch both that. sides at the same time. This that. is politi This is politically homeless. That's not what like. It is. Everybody gets shit because you're it's all trash, but like most of the like most of the people in Hollywood are your standard shit libs who like you know they need this, they need like a they need like a, a like a father or a mother figure, r slash raised by a narcissist. Oh boy, have I been to that subreddit, my friend? <laughs> I, I know it quite well, yeah. Exactly. No, the, or the country is living under abusive alcoholic parents. That's what it is. That's the relationship that it currently is. <clears throat> it just the really best, ironic the way that it's made out to be. The best uh the best summation I saw on Twitter was um it was after it was after current thing number eight million. I don't even remember which, but it was like does anybody else feel like they just got out of a relationship with a narcissist? And it was because of like all the gaslighting and all the, and the thing is I don't even have to name the current thing because they're applicable to all the current things. It's the same thing. <laughs> the media gaslights you politicians in lockstep with the media gaslight you as well. Everybody just gaslights you. Meanwhile, behind closed doors, everybody knows they're being gaslit and <laughs> it's just like, yeah, we know it's bullshit. Like, we we live in a we live in a circus of drunk elephants. 
<laughs> Fuck. God damn I it. I keep thinking in my head that we all need a mom. I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in the world right now. Yeah. But in our country, we need you to be mamala of the country. Yeah. Yeah. Mamala. Mamala. That's the face right there. That's like, you know what? Like, listen, listen to what she says. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I know. And as a she's like visibly uncomfortable. She's like, she's like, she's literally says, she's like, just like, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no, I don't know. It's just, yeah, I mean, can you please I, stop touching I me? I need it. to go shower. <laughs> That's what it feels. Yeah. Oh, this is oh wrong. This is really God. wrong. This is already. This already hurts my brain. This like this really pins you down. This is, and of course we're of course like we're gonna get the I, as a woman spiel. Yeah. No, I. Know. I know. And as a woman who respects so much mm. and wants to share and wants to be confident and has no ounce of meat that has competitiveness. Okay, this is so weird that she said it like this. Ounce of meat? You could just say ounce of competitiveness. And also you have your own, you have your own daytime, like you host your own show on television. <clears throat> what do you mean you're not competitive? You run a business. What are you talking about? Yeah, <clears throat> it's, this is, I mean, at this point, I, I, I feel like we're at the point where even like the super normies are getting a little weirded out with just how this fucking is goofy the world this is. This is weird. Who respects so much mm. and wants to share and wants to be confident and has no ounce of meat that has competitiveness. Yeah. When we lift each other up, we all rise. That's exactly right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I keep who, thinking. Who's, lift, who's lifting who up? Are you talking about like like emotional support? Because you know, it'd be great if, if we could all lift each other like up materially. Sauce. Yeah, that's Kamal's favorite sauce. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite dipping sauce. Yeah. Especially for the chicken McNutt. My best friend Mostly. was like a sister to me. I hold, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on so for a she second. was talking about she she like she she used to work she she claims to have worked at McDonald's. And so there was that was like a bit about like her favorite dipping sauce is the barbecue sauce. Okay. No, just her wording. I like the barbecue sauce but, mostly. That I'm sorry. Normal human beings do not make a sentence like, I like the barbecue sauce mostly. It's like, no, my favorite, this is my favorite dipping sauce. Like, again, it feels like these are all just robots and we're getting fucking trolled. And they're just like, all right, uh, the Kamala model glitched out. Uh, yeah, she, uh, I don't know. I think she's, we're going to have to, we're going to have to go look into it again. <laughs> 